calamities are good for the believer in the sense that reward is stored up for him or her in the hereafter through them. How can it be otherwise when he is raised in status thereby and his bad deeds are expiated? The Prophet ﷺ said, When Allah wills good for his slave, he hastens the punishment for him in this world. And when Allah wills ill for his slave, he withholds the punishment for his sins from until he comes with all his sins on the day of resurrection. Hassan al-Basri rahimullah said, Do not resent the calamities that come and the disasters that occur, for perhaps in something that you dislike will be your salvation, and perhaps in something that you prefer will be your doom. Al-Fadl ibn Sah said, There is a blessing in calamity that the wise man should not ignore, for it erases sins gives one the opportunity to attain the reward for patience, dispels negligence, reminds one of blessings at the time of health, calls one to repent and encourages one to give charity. Through calamity the believer seeks reward and there is no way to attain it but patience and there is no way to be patient except with resolute faith and strong will. Remember the words of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How wonderful is the affair of the believer, for his affairs are all good, and this applies to no one but the believer. If something good happens to him, he is thankful for it, and it is good for him. If something bad happens to him, he bears it with patience, and that is good for him. So if calamity befalls a Muslim, he must say, Inna lillahi Verily to Allah we belong and unto Him is our return. And say the du'as that have been narrated from the Prophet ﷺ. How wonderful are those moments in which a person turns to his Lord and knows that He alone is the one who grants relief from distress.